Are you ready? Just one night all we got. 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 I ain't got time for you, baby. Come on, let's have fun. It's too hot to fuss. Mine or you're not. Take off your hat and stay alive. <laughs> F. Scott Fitzgerald came up with his phrase, the jazz age. Jazz was this almost underground music at the time, like hip hop started out. These things excite me so. Baz is an artist who creates new things in the world. From the hymns on a suit, to the words on a page, to the music, which is one of my great joys. As much as Baz is a great filmmaker, he is a fanatic about music as well. I like to think of it as a character because it's so interwoven into the storyline. I'm certainly glad to see you again. I'm certainly glad to see you as well. I don't think anyone would ever accuse Baz of being timid because it has to be exciting and it has to be thrilling and unexpected. I can never know what Fitzgerald would think of what we've done with the film, but I've done it, I hope, in a way to help the audience get a feeling of what jazz might have felt like in the 20s. Dangerous, intoxicating and thrilling. Human beings in a mind. I met one of the great creative forces on the planet today, Jay-Z. Baz and Leo came to a recording session. I was working on a song called No Church in a While. We just talk about the art of collaborating. And I'm sitting here watching going, this is fun. I guess that was the seed of the ideas. Kind of takes your breath away, doesn't it? I, need a hundred bricks on hundred bucks, I, got a I love how infusing hip hop makes you understand the sort of cultural references and what it would be like if these people existed today. So we blend from one moment a Jay Z hip hop cut into a piece of jazz. Seamlessly shifting different eras of music together, which I thought was a genius process. That's one of the things that Baz has a reputation for, treating the music like another uh, star. I thought it would be interesting to take my songs that I'd written over the years and redesign them in the style of 1920s jazz. I hear Brian's and I go, my God, Brian Ferry has created the sound. Here's our girl right now. Hey, lovely Miss Lana. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I've heard many different musical treatment to different scenes. It's about being true to the world that you've created. We work with many other artists on the film, the gorgeous Lana Del Rey, on a beautiful piece that she has written for the film. The sort of flashback romance track. Lana, we're very lucky that the song found the film, and most importantly, that you're singing it. Thanks. We've had a very rich collaboration with the XX. They've written a haunting, magnificent track called Together. The musical component of this film could be pretty spectacular. Romy scores to picture, and it was quite a beautiful thing to watch. When we saw the scene that they were hoping for it to be in, uh, Together just made perfect sense. There's the traditional orchestral underscore by Craig Armstrong. The invisible maestro, who's weaving it all together, writing scenes. It was lovely to be working with him again. Nero. On the one hand, it's kind of really dark and it's complicated, but Into the Past has great tune to it, and they nailed it. I've never seen anything on film like this. And you just get sort of sucked into the world so easily. It's Florence Welsh from Florence and the Machine. Something about music, it kind of opens your eyes wider to the situation. That song becomes what I think is a major work by Florence and the Machine. Ain't we having a party? Baz's soundtrack's so iconic. It's perfect. You have perfect, irresistible imagination. And to be part of it is an actual dream come true. It's a haunting powerhouse. Just give me the green light. Daisy. So many people collaborated. Fergie, Gunra, Q-Tip, Will I Am, Beyonce, Andre 3000, Sia, Gautier. There's something wonderful about the level of collaboration on music. We're gonna have a great time. I promise you that. Baz, you're taking it to a new level.